I'm afraid to go back. I, I, I need reinforcements, and I don't think I'll ever go to that cemetery by myself again. A Bay Area woman scared and angry. She says thieves got away with her belongings while she was visiting her mother's gravesite. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. A special moment ruined for a woman who says her car window was smashed at an Oakland cemetery. Hello again, I'm Claudine Wong. And I'm Mike Meebag. She was leaving flowers at her mother's gravesite at St. Mary's Cemetery when the thieves struck. KTVU's Alyssa Harrington joins us live tonight from Oakland. And Alyssa, a very upsetting situation here. That's right, definitely among the lowest of the low. This woman told me that it was her late mother's birthday, so she went to the cemetery to leave flowers and remember good times with her mom. Instead, she spent the day cleaning up glass, calling her credit card companies to cancel cards and feeling upset about this heartless crime. It was just, you know, the, your stomach just drops and it's like, oh no, it's, it's happened. <laughs> and disbelief and than anger. Kathy Martinson of Lafayette said a day meant to honor her late mother turned into a frightening experience when she was burglarized at an Oakland cemetery. This happened February 1st. She parked inside the gates near the front office of St. Mary's Cemetery in Rockridge and had just dropped off flowers at her mother's gravesite for her birthday. Within two minutes, I heard the alarm of my car going off. And I looked down and saw there was a car parked next to mine where there hadn't been prior. And I realized it's a smash and grab. Kathy took this picture of what she found. The passenger window of her car smashed, her purse and backpack gone. It's like, is nothing sacred? You know, I'm, I'm going to wish my mom a, a happy birthday, a heavenly happy birthday. And, and they prey on people anywhere, obviously. I mean, it's, it's frightening. Kathy tried to chase the suspects, but they sped off. Within minutes, she was getting calls from fraud prevention services because someone was trying to charge big purchases on her credit cards. Kathy called police and tried to track down surveillance video, but was told by a worker at the cemetery they did not have any. She said this has been a blow financially, and emotionally, it has been devastating. Worst of all, she missed her special moment with her mom. Like, I always like to sing happy birthday. I know it's silly, but I mean, I literally couldn't even get that off. I mean, because it just happened like that. Kathy grew up in the Oakland and Berkeley Hills area, but said she is reluctant to go back because of rampant crime. She wants to warn others not even mourning peacefully in a cemetery is safe and urges police to hold people accountable for these types of crimes. I wish people would be nicer <laughs> and I wish the police could do something about all of this because it's it's sad. I have friends, though, I live in Oakland, I never leave anything in there. They know, and it's like, wow, is that how we want to think of our community, our city? That's it's kind of pathetic, actually. I called the Oakland Police Department, and they confirmed that a report was taken but could not provide additional information. I also reached out to the Catholic Funeral and Cemetery Services of the Diocese of Oakland to ask if they plan to add security, but at this time, have not heard back. Now, Kathy also hopes that if anybody finds her belongings, they will turn them in. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 I mean, News. of all places, let's hope the tips come in and the criminals will be caught. Alyssa, thank you. Police.